Yeah, so there's no turning back now. We've destroyed two cars for this. This is Senpai Part 3. Welcome back to the car factory. We are building the world's fastest K-Truck with a full rally cage, all-wheel drive, and 550 horsepower as a halo project for my new car company. That is the entire Tesla drivetrain, which was not easy to get out of there. We started by putting the Tesla on the lift and trying to drain all the fluids out of it as much as we could. The coolant lines run through the battery through eight different lines, and each motor also gets two separate lines, so there's a lot of blue goo to get out of the car. After a full day, we were able to drop both motors out of the Tesla, getting covered in coolant in the process, and breaking all the plastic clips. And then we push the car to the side because we'll extract the entire battery pack later. To everyone worried about me fully charging the battery before we sort it, I didn't do that. I charged it at 70%. It's at 70%, it'll stay that way for a long time. It's fine, it's safe. And this is how the Tesla sits right now, which is a little sad, but there's still a lot of great parts in here that we can sell. The entire cooling package, the AC condenser, the radiator, and then the entire interior is still nice. There's probably about seven grand worth of stuff here, which means I can break even. Next, it came time to disassemble the K truck. And this was actually kind of sad. This truck was in really good shape, but I want to start with a good one so we didn't have a bunch of rusty fasteners and missing stuff. The transmission did have some metal in it and was popping out of gear, so she wasn't perfect, but it is hard to take apart a truck that is in this good a shape and was running and driving just minutes ago. We started disassembling the front end because we didn't want it to fall off the lift. We took apart the control arms, the steering gear, and any little bits on the front so we can drop the front K member out. And then we moved to the rear axle with just a solid axle on leaf springs. We took the drive shaft off and drained any of the remaining fluids, disconnected the brake lines, and then lowered that whole assembly out. The whole rear axle and leaf springs probably only weighs about 100 pounds which is incredible. The truck also had what I think is the original muffler, which is also a huge accomplishment for a 29 year old truck. So here's how the truck sits right now with both Tesla subframes underneath it. They actually line up pretty well. We're gonna make some brackets to fit these things in there and then make this truck as low as possible. We're gonna have the wheels about here. We're also gonna move the driver to the center and remove this rear wall so that we can bring the driver a little bit further back and build a full cage because this doesn't have a lot of crumple zone. What that means now though, is I can knock off one more thing from our list. We got the donor cars, we took both apart and now third part, don't die. And that third one's actually harder than it sounds because this truck was designed for 38 horsepower and now we'll have 550 and it'll run tens in the quarter mile. What could go wrong?